Welcome back to uh, home. Welcome back to home. Uh, musty wooden plank. Uh, they're about, yeah, just take that plank, bro. I can beat people with that plank. It said, did it say rusty? Yeah, I think it said uh, musty, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys ever seen that small patch and it looked like almost, look, almost? I'm willing to bet that this guy's in Silent Hill. Yeah, it feels like it. Alright. So, um, I came in here to get a plank, I guess. A plank. And I also found the campsite on the way over here. Is it gonna be your only friend, the plank? The plank? Yeah. I'm John. Dude, what if that was it? I'm Johnny. <laughs> From fucking Ed and Eddie. This is a story about how he kills all his friends. This is a story all about how my life got flipped turned upside down. Sound was the same as the first one I had seen. This must have been the exit to the other side of the woods. Wow, I went very far really quickly. Oh, fucking <laughs> Once I left, I knew I never wanted to return. I better go back in. <laughs> Make your I, fucking mind. I up. left my driver's license in here, dude. <laughs> how would I drive out of here if I don't have my license? The cop pull me over and be like, where's your license, young man? And I'll be like, I left it in the spooky woods. And he'll be like, well... <laughs> I left it in the spooky woods. I left it in the spooky woods. Gotta go back for it. I'm waiting to find, like, a hanging corpse in the background. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it, too. Yeah. You, you thought it was legs. Is this the building here? Yeah, okay. No. <laughs> this is a water tower. Um... It would have to be near the train station. Do this. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Because uh, that now the train station does not seem like progression. Well, I suppose every place has progression, but... Yeah, but I don't want to leave the forest without going all the way through here. This is a very surreal game. I didn't go through this door. Well, you did. You just didn't explore. Oh, you're right, because it comes out here. Oh, there's the old wrecked oh, nice. uh, trains. Town, and the torn opening of what was a ruined train had heaps of stale water. So at the bottom, I thought I saw a scrap of cloth. As I looked closer, I could see that it was definitely some kind of nylon. Maybe a windbreaker or some other outdoor clothing. There was too much of a mess on the ground to see any kind of footprints, but someone or something had definitely trod a regular path. That was, like, there was, it didn't highlight that. I just hit X. Okay. Oh, well, that's fucked. I think I came here to get this clue. And while you walk back into the train station, you find your driver's license. Yeah, that'd be great. I wish it was just lying on the ground here. Oh, look, there it is. What, where? I'm joking. Oh. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up like that. I need to drive my sick bike out of here. I don't even know if he has a bike. I'm assuming he has a bike. What kind of pimp would not have a bike? This guy's a pimp, right? Yeah, hopefully. Okay. I mean, yeah. If you're not a pimp, you're not nothing. <laughs> you ain't shit. You ain't no pimp, dog. You ain't no pimp if you ain't no pimp. You ain't no pimp if you ain't no pimp. You can't be pimped with pimps. You gotta pimp the hoes. I don't know anything about pimping, honestly. <laughs> I, don't, I literally know nothing about uh, pimping. Uh, about Lewis. Snake, Snake here took uh, fucking college courses in pimping. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm a professional pimper. He's a professional pimper. <laughs> he just said pimper. <laughs> is there a problem here? Yes. You're not a pimper, you're a pimp. God damn it. <laughs> the joke is perfect. Okay, out we go. <laughs> <laughs> Through the dense trees, I could finally start to see some light. I must have been at the edge of the forest, though I wasn't where the, sure where the path led. Cryptic note in my pocket as I tried to think about what it could mean. And where were the... Yeah, see? The campers at the random site, but I meet them, too. Through the patch ahead of me was less dense. I felt guarded and wary. I f still felt guarded and wary. Who knew what was ahead? Oh, who knew? The knife in my boot knows. I'm, I'm pretty scared because these trees are bothering me. Fence! Spooky. Fence is pretty spooky. I stepped through the gate. I suddenly recognized the auto parts f f factory where I worked as a mechanist. Machinist. Whatever. I was... <laughs> years. A mechanist. The plant had It's closed. the epitome of mechanism. Epitome of mechanism. Three years ago now. Times are better then. Thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. It's your girlfriend coming to fuck hey, you. Hey, buildings in the back in the distance there. Oh, so you're fucking... We're getting close. Ooh. That's progression. Let's go into the mechanist factory. I regret this immediately. <laughs> well, here's my old locker. Look, well, there's my driver's license. locker's hung license. open. It's kind of just crossed around like someone had been looking for something. My driver's license. It was me. Door was locked shut. There's a large power box with five lights on it. Cables burst out of the box, snaking off the other parts of the factory. Metal was starting to wear, and cobwebs had collected on the corners. The box wasn't receiving power. The door was locked very tight. Soon you came to the power box. Fuck! 
We, now we have to give it juice, basically. Do you want to go try the hole in the fence first or do this first? Well, no, the, the fucking hole in the fence is progression. Are you sure? Yeah. Let me go check. The city's in, behind, in the background. True, but this game doesn't care. Yeah, I see. Oh, uh, fuck. There's another dead guy. Yeah, it's another dead guy. Found the body of a security guard. Just doing his job, no doubt. His face was covered with blood from some kind of head wound. I wonder, was this flashlight his? Oh, the flashlight I'm holding. Cool. Down on the ground was a cracked old watch. First my wallet, now this. Did I retrieve my watch? Yeah, yes. Hell yeah. Ah, see what? No progression. Just need to get my watch. Okay. That's fun. My Swatch, even. It's a Swiss watch. You're a Swiss, it's a Swiss army watch. Sw yeah. A Swiss army watch. Swiss army watch. Short and cornery. Every part of this plant smelled old and rotted like dicks. <laughs> like dicks Like dicks smells. The board contained yellowed clip. If people don't know who Dixo is, Dixo is a uh, <laughs> griever from Final Fantasy VIII, and he's my personal god. I'm sorry, <laughs> what? Yeah. There were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. Fuck Norman. He was a chump. That Norman fellow. Hey, it's one of those things. Okay, we shut off. Did I push the switch? Yeah, yes. Yeah, he is. Wait. There we go. Overdrive! -o. It was longer with stuff with dirty work clothes and old boots. It's foot of a woman taped to it inside, but it was scratched out, and the face was unrecognizable. Okay. Ooh. One of those. Flip flip -o. Ah, that one has to be down, I see. Hold on, I'm gonna go back, because that, that seems to be the direction where all power panels are. Uh, I'm gonna go over here first. Yeah. An old break table. The of dust and grime was only made seeing the sight sting, stink, sick, sick, I'm tired. The door had been hastily boarded up. Not cool. Have it now. Fuck doors. Doors are fucked. Doors are for pussies. I go through Real. <laughs> this was Norman locker. The door was dented like someone had punched it. I don't remember him doing that when we worked there. Hey, another thing. It's because he walks through fucking walls. Yeah. <laughs> he said that the shelf crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer on the shelf. Fuck yeah, I took the claw hammer. Claw hammers are sick. If you get into a fight, you can fuck a guy up with a claw hammer. Claw hammer. Locker was a complete mess. Hidden at the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Yeah, it is. Slip the key card in my pocket. What is this, Metal Gear? Yeah. Oh, uh, was that all five of them? I think it was. It means I can go down to the main door now. But there is still a room you didn't explore. Yeah, I know. I'm going back. Two what are these? Salt licks? <laughs> yeah, so in a factory, you just have giant salt licks. Well, in yeah, case the I have salt licks in my house. Yeah, I know. I, 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 that, didn't you get threatened to be evicted for that? For my salt licks? Yes. Yeah, and then I made them lick my salt lick, and they're like, yeah, that's pretty good. Never mind. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, salt licks are massive. Ah, card key. Yeah, yeah. Bleep. Metal gear. Oh, that looked dangerous. You should go stand there. You should go stand here. Checking out, see if there's anything. Nothing. There was some kind of ventilation hatch there. It looked like I could jump to the room below. My leg hurt enough as it was, but I couldn't see another option. Oh, bullshit. That'll get you out of the power room. What are we doing? Oh, man, my leg hurt like hell. Ah. There's a crumpled up letter on the floor. It had been scratched out heavily, and it was hard to make out. Yes, try to read it. This letter was violently scratched out with what looked to be ballpoint pen. All I could make out was a need to. Just don't drinking need, Norman. Who was Norman writing to? Probably. He's probably dead at this point. Me? That poor guard. It was the flashlight I carried his. It looked like he had met his end violently. I only hoped it was quick. I did get home to Rachel, but I couldn't stop thinking about Norman. He and Rachel were friends. Could he help? It wasn't like I really had anyone else to turn to. My leg burned with pain. I only hoped I could find my way through the dark path for me and get to Norman's store. Fuck! You know what happened? You just progressed the story? Yeah, that means I ha what I had to do was go through the power door, then that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you fucked it. Yeah, it's fine. No, it isn't. It's fine. It's totally fine. Get your kicks on route. Sixty... Seven. Yes. You know, this is not really a scary game too no. much. It's more just like eerie. Like, man, this atmosphere is very enveloping, but nothing's happening. Garbage bin. 
with a disgusting mess of rotten food and slick black bags. The greenish corner poking out from one of the bags. Yeah! 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 I can drive cars now. Dude, I can buy shit and drive car. Oh, thought it was gonna start raining again. Uh, no. I don't like rain. I had entered Norman's place. This is the backup store that he ran. It was oddly quiet except for the faint sound of the television. I bet Norman's dead. Yeah. I bet he is too. And just in front of the store was locked from the inside. Okay, go back up here. Oh look, Norman's dead. Yep, clearly. Oh, it's going to it's going to hell outside. Should you go through the blood door or this door? Well the blood door is where he's dead, so yeah, go through that there. one. I agree. What the hell? One of Rachel's old autumn coats hung on the rack. This was Norman's bedroom, wasn't it? What was this doing here? Oh shit. Oh I did kill my wife. There's a well maintained <gasps> Haunting right give me it Give me the haunting rifle. <laughs> Oh Damn my it. god. I you, totally you, killed my wife. No, I think you killed him. I totally everybody. killed him and my wife. Yeah. Probably. My wife is totally cheating on me. I bet she's gonna be in here, like on his dick still. <laughs> what was this? It looked like a pole chain hanging from the ceiling. I wonder where that let's do that after. There's a TV. Oh, oh there's oh. Norman. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Norman, my coworker, one of my one of the few friends I had in this town lay dead beside his armchair. For, 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 look like he'd been stabbed or something tried, trying to get up. His eyes were still wide with shock. Norman, what was Rachel doing here? Why did you have her coat? Norman, maybe you deserve better. You're probably dead. Did I close his eyes? I'm suspicious about this guy. Yeah. I, I flipped him off. <laughs> you should have closed his eyes. I should have closed his eyes. I don't give a fuck. Let's go to the attic. <laughs> it's where Rachel is. Yeah, I bet. That'd be terrible. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that guy was cheating on me. Or that guy was cheating on me. My wife the guy was cheating cheated on me. On, the guy was cheating My on wife me. was cheating on me with that guy. I can almost guarantee it. There's a large cardboard box that hadn't been sealed. Did I open it? Yeah. Open up the old cardboard box. I wasn't entirely surprised with what I saw. There were more of Rachel's things. More of my wife's clothes. Photo shoes. Even that old radio I gave her. Why, Rachel? What were we doing here with Norman? I fucking told you. <laughs> I fucking told you. This is this is quite good. I hope I killed that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty brutal. I shouldn't say that. I, no, yeah, you no, do. Fuck that. It's a pixel man. It's a pixel man. I, I left your eyes open. So you can't see me? Rub my butthole on your face. Okay, here we go. This would be a Silent Hill situation. It would. They're here to punish me. Norman's kitchen table kept clean enough. There are water rings from two cups there on the wood. I, th I, th I think, uh, you know, Rachel was dick to it. Hairpin. I pocketed the hairpin and watched me pick locks now like a boss. Take out containers. Cool, cool. The fucking... I think your wife is a whore and she deserved to die. Whoa, calm down. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, hey, man. It's not far and for Whores don't deserve... Without whores, the economy would crumble. What? What? Where do you think all the politicians should spend their money? Yeah, hairpin to pick the fucking lock, though! Skyrim. Uh, the general store was small, but it was clean. It had the usual things, postcards, snacks, magazines, and canned food. Goods. I never went there much. Usually, you, Rachel, you usually stop there to get boned by Norman on the way home. <laughs> And a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. Cool. Fat can, can I pick the lock to the register? Can I pick the lock, please. The icebox seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of its contents were half melted. Well, and it looks oh. like it's time for next time. Who knows what this thing says when I investigate it? It probably says something like, This is a dodo rack where Rachel bought all her dodos. Yes. 